what's up guys and welcome to the very first episode of the um, Fountain of Youth Sunland edition which is basically we're going to be promoting from the youth um, we are under a transfer embargo as you can see to become self-sustainable uh, towards the Premier League and no players over 25 if we were to drop you in to the actual team you would then see what we are going to uh, be playing with this season we're going to be playing with this following team, you can see Bally Mumba, Kogolo, Patterson, Connolly, Kim Poiker, Dunn, Diamond, Hackett, Semenu still on loan, uh, Elliot, M. Button, Abdel, Kadar, uh, Gamble, Hume, Bainbridge, Dobson, Summit, Robson, Gooch, who's still there, Declan, John, 09, Willis, Watmore, Max Power, who is still at the club. Uh, we did play a game just before and we secured a win. If we have a look at the match report there, we absolutely dominated the full team. Uh, if we were to look at their team, there you go. McLaughlin's at the back, Flanagan Lynch, Greenwood, Scowan. Now Greenwood, he didn't have really a decent game. What we're trying to do is we try, we're trying to build from the youth. And I think that's a major prospect of what we're trying to do. I have tried to sell the players. So if you go into the development centre now, you'll see the likes of Josh Scowan was 26, Brett Ledbetter. Wyke, Flanagan, Grigg, I mean these are all top players, I mean that any team would love to have but unfortunately this aim of this save isn't to be doing that, it is to be actually promoting the youth, that's why it's called the fountain of youth, we're going to try and build from within for the club and I think if we don't build from in, within the club that's when the save will die for me anyway with the tour of scotland coming up as well uh we got dundee uh united in my second game dunfermline is next Hardwick thistle and then we are away to queretaro if that's how we pronounce it the mexican first division team away to dalton and then we got a couple of home games against fernabach in sporting before we actually do open our campaign uh at home to Oxford on the 3rd of August. So we'll, we'll, we'll get to play the game now for Dunfermline. And hopefully, if anything, we can we can grind out a result against them with, with the youth team out, which is going to be basically our first team as of now. But we get actually kicking off, and this is the team we're going to run with again. We are going to actually take Dobson out and put Samut in first. We are going to put Mumbai in as well. We're going to we're going to we're going to pick a road. We're going to let them pick a rotated squad. Uh, to pick the youth prospects now, and this is what we're going to be running with: the full team of Patterson, Mumbai at right back, um, Samut at centre back, with Bainbridge, John, Gooch, Embleton, uh, Robson, Hackett, Kim Poiker, and then we'll see how it goes with that. instant result it and see what we actually come back with i'm not too fussed about playing friendlies i just want to see how we actually do play it. and look at that another win on the road under our belt one nil half time antoine semanio Lyndon gooch declan john had a wonder game ethan robson would play of the match uh Lyndon gooch with a goal and then they brought on quite a few nobody stood out as they came on that could just be from. Um, that could just be from like 45, 50 minutes in. Anyway, Gucci has picked up the Bruchin, but we uh, we roll on. We brought in Rivaldo as well to be our new director of football. Seen him on the list. I thought, let's get him in. He's a man, a legend around the town. We've had two two nil wins as well, and we could move on. To play Dundee next, which would be a decent, very, very, very decent result if we could get one against them as well, with Robbie Nielsen in charge. I mean, you've got to admit, like, if you were to get a transfer in ball during summer, I mean, it wouldn't make it wouldn't make much of a difference anyway. Another game under our belt here at home. Uh, we're not even on a tour of Scotland. That Scotland's coming to us. They they're breaking the borders down. Welcome into Scotland. We're gonna pick the same team. Uh, but we're going to give Dunn a run out and 9 will come back into the team uh, to replace Bally Mumba 
Emmett Luttler had a decent game, but we'll give Connolly a run out as well. Uh, but other than that, we lack a striker. So if Kim Poyka or Semenyo does go down, uh, we're going to have to promote from within uh, the youth team as well. Looking at with strikers, first of all, we've got White and Greg. Connolly's there as well. So we'll bring Connolly in the team just as backup. Uh, we'll go back into there. Connolly can drop onto the bench. We've got quite a few uh, left mid. So, yep, we'll run with that. We'll go with that. We'll see what it's like uh, and see what kind of result we actually do kick back with in the end. Hopefully, another win at home. I want to see what the attendance is like. One of the main points of this save should be to bring the attendance um, back up. That's for sure. Another 4-2 win. Look at that. Antoine Semenyo. If we could just get his stats up at the minute. Three games, non-competitive, four goals. Um, the man is in a blistering run of form. Um, played as a target man inside uh, the game there. against Sunderland and then a poacher uh, against Dunfermline and Dundee. Uh, I mean, man is getting some mad form with his average rating of eight. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. He'll be one to watch out for this season. Hopefully we can get him quick firing and starting up for the game. That's, that's for sure. As we can actually see, rolling up to playing Partick Thistle, we've got the game, which is a friendly cup. I never actually realised that was a friendly cup. Uh, Kyuritaro. Kyuritaro? I mean, forgive me the pronunciation. Any Mexicans viewing this, I'm very sorry. I am. Uh, I can barely pronounce the English names, never mind anything else. So do, I do apologise. Bainbridge turns down a new deal as he's just signed one. That will keep it to 2020. I'm assuming that's going to that's gonna roll over. Um, but the likes of Samut, Samut uh, re rejects his um, previous contracts brought down. That's why I don't like. I don't like sometimes them getting new contracts. Uh, mm. Let's just take a note of that, boys. Before we actually do go in, five hundred and seventy-five thousand for Luke Nine. That could be triggered at any point. I think. Any time. Please no. We know go again. Here we go. This should be... We're going to change it up a little bit. We're going to play Conley in as well. Willis will come back in for some mutt. Uh, Bainbridge. I'll keep in for Bainbridge. Uh, but we're going to give... Uh, we're going to give the other keeper a go. Uh, Abdel Qatar. Abdel Qatar, sorry. Who, um, who could do with a run out. Conley out once we go we will demote some of these boys back into the um to the um under 23s just just solely because i like to work i don't know with you if you drop it in the comments if you do watch um that i like to run with a smaller squad of around 22 players 23 players uh, i don't like to run with full squads that's for sure We're gonna actually. We should have instant resulted, but we're not. We're not instant resulting the game as of yet. So what we'll do is we'll just put on key highlights and we'll update with the result after the game actually goes ahead. And there we go, boys. Three one, ladies and gentlemen. Three one against Partick Thistle. Uh, just to go back into uh, you. Stadium and light, yep, 3-1. Nice little 3-1 win there. Happy with that. Very happy with that as well. 10,000 fans actually turned up for the game. Uh, let's have a look what the crowd's actually been like recently. Um, because. Stadium. Add. Venue attendance ad. Beautiful. So there we go. If we were to fit all this in as well, uh, auto size, all columns, there we go. 
There we go, there we go, there we go. We get there in the end. <laughs> we get there. We've got around nine, ten thousand 10,000 coming to the games every time. Thursday night and Monday night. And a Monday night again. So we've got a couple of Saturday games coming up. Um, but we got this fight. We got this cup cup game coming up against the um, the Mexican team Curitaro, uh, and then we'll see. Maybe if we go through, maybe we could get a game against somebody else. We'll never know. We'll hope and see. See if we can actually progress. It is at the Gillette Stadium in the US of A. We are actually going to America, boys. Get your passports. We're heading out. We can check back and see who's actually in this cup of because. I'm intrigued to see who's actually in it because if we go into our schedule, have a look, we see the semi-finals being played, New England and Oaks, eh? So, we've got a French team, USA, Mexican and English team. Sounds like a very bad draw, as long as they don't walk into a bar, we're fine about that. So, we'll go into the game, we'll pick the squad, um, again, we'll instant result. We don't really care about this competition. Um, nothing to note for, we've got a couple of injuries. Uh, don't know what more injured. What a surprise. Another news, water's wet. New England go through. They beat Orcs there. Eh? So maybe... Ethan Robson's took a knock. We'll get Ballymumba in, actually. M Button's in. Max Power's been missing out. So actually, we'll put Max Power in. We need Max Power to be fit for the season, that's for sure. Uh, Connolly's still in the team with Samanio. Right. We'll see actually what result comes back. We've been beating the Scottish teams. Pray, pray to God we can beat the Mexican teams as well. We actually get beat on pens 4 2. Ay, 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 never good that. We actually don't even create much either by the looks of the report. It goes down to pens. Human can point on Miss Dobson's somewhat score, but Tejera, Lopez, Torres, and Palma actually score theirs. They're actually in the same league as Tigers, and we actually have to go and play Orcs eh, in the third third round tomorrow. What a life. What a life this is. We travel all the way to America for two games to get beat in one of them. We'll set with pitch the normal standard of which we like. Uh, season ticket sales, 20,000. That's, that's good. That's good. One of the main things I would love to do with the club is get them on winning form and maybe get the attendance back in the squad. Another instant result. Can we actually come third place or actually we're going to finish fourth? We get beat on pens again. Who's missing these pens? George Dobson missed his this time. Nobody missed theirs for Orcs here. So it basically come down to Dobson missing his pen. Torres scoring his, or maybe Torres scored his, and Dobbs and misses. We were unlucky to actually go on to pens, but never mind. We can march on towards this season. We're having a decent um, season. Let's see who actually wins the final. Um, let's have a look. Who actually did win this final? He hasn't been played yet. Okay. Okay. The Mexican team, so we did We did end up, I mean, we lost to both teams, but we ended up losing to the winners as well, which is a, a small blessing in disguise, shall we say. See what this is all about. This this save can be one of two things. It, it could be an absolute failure. We, we can't challenge for playoffs. We finish mid-table. We end up getting sacked, probably. Um, or it could be the best thing since sliced bread. We go up to the championship, not recruiting, and then maybe trying to recruit some better known Wonder Kids, depending on what kind of self-sustaining club that Stuart Donald has been running as of yet. Big game coming up. We all we always do obviously this because we are Sunderland's um, Sunderland or Donaldson's feeder club, so we can actually, I think, help them with some money. Uh, squad numbers don't change due to obviously the players down in the under twenty threes as well. I'm not really fussed about that. Instant result, I mean, if we don't get three or four against them today, I mean, are we really doing it right? And there you go, we get four. We get four, Lyndon Gooch, Hatbrick, 
Semenyor. Darry Morton got one back for them, but it was already 3-0 down at the time. Good, good game. There we go. Semenyo had a good game. Glyn and Gooch had a per perfect game, nearly. A hat-trick. 4-1 win. And we got two home games coming up. And these these will be the last two games um, of the episode, which will be Fenerbahce and Sport and Lisbon. Um, I'll see how it goes, because then on the third, we kick-start the save off the League One campaign against Oxford United. If we just, because one, one of the things I want the save to be in this save is to really dive into the finances, um, the income, etc, etc, um, for monthly, monthly losses, monthly, monthly gains, um, or all, all that stuff. I mean, this month, um, we're paying out nearly 379, uh, 397,000 in, in player wages. Which is absolutely crazy. Uh, we do owe the director five million pounds, of which two hundred and ten a month being paid up until the first of um, July two thousand and twenty-one. I thought that'd be realistic. We owe Donald some money anyway. Well, Donald owns a company, uh, the American owners, who give him ten million pound. To help inject the running of the club. So. I thought it would be realistic. I add that in. we got Fernabach. And this will be an actual tough test. I can't see us winning this game. This could be our starting lineup as of, as of yet. You know what I mean. For, for the up and coming league one. So we'll see how we do. We'll see what kind of attendance we do get against Fernabachi. We get a 4-1 win. Wow. 4-1 win. That is insane. Bally Mumba got it off to a, to a cracking start. But then Potuk got one back. Semenu got two before Kim Pointer would end up making it 4-1. Now if you just check the stadium. Why, my God. Another 9,000 turned up for a, for a friendly on um, a Wednesday night. So let's see what the sporting save is. Uh, sporting results going to be like. We never know what that's going to actually about bad weather it's possibly going to be drizzle rain wet pitch so let's see if the fans actually do turn out let's dive it let's dive into this and see um exactly how well we are doing at the minute another 10,000 turnout uh for the game it's pretty much 10,000 all around strangely enough but we get another 4-1 win Look at that. Semanio double. Uh, a goal for Lyndon Gooch as well. And a goal for Jordan Willis. You couldn't really... You could not write that we beat some of the top teams. Going into the, uh, going into the Sunland save uh, with the Fountain of Youth. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've enjoyed doing it. This was just the run up to the actual season, seeing how the young boys would actually do against some of the better clubs in the world, Sporting and Fenerbahce being the top two that I raised friendlies for at the start. So, I mean, if you did like it, do drop a like, comment below, subscribe to the channel, and also down below you'll see a twitch.tv backslash DC93 gaming link. Drop it. Hit a follow on it as well because I do another save live every Wednesday, Friday and Sunday on Twitch. Until the next time, boys, thank you very much. This has been the Fountain of Youth. Enjoy the rest of your viewing.